So today I'm going to talk about how to make my aunt salsa. First I will show you the supplies and ingredients you will need. Second I will show you how to mix them together to get the real flavor out. And then third I will show you some different health options that you can do. So first you're going to need um, your El Pato jalapeno sauce. There is three other ones in different colors but you need the green one so don't get the yellow or the red or the orange. You're going to need your whole peeled tomatoes. You can get their brand or Hunt's. It doesn't matter. Um, and then this I just poured it into there along with that. You're going to need your onions. Um, about half a cup or half the onion. I use less because I don't like it. You are then going to need your cilantro and your jalapeno. I'd say a medium size is good, not too big. You're then going to need your garlic powder, your salt, your oregano, and then you're going to need a knife, a cutting board, a spoon to serve it, a blender, and then I use one of these to scoop out the tomatoes because you're going to have to drain them, and then a little spoon to use as your teaspoon. So first I'm going to show you how to cut your jalapeno and then I just cut off the edge and then I cut it about five to six times depending on how big the jalapeno actually is and then I'd cut it like this because you want the seeds and that what is what gives it like the spice to it and then your cilantro I personally don't cut it and then whenever you blend it up it's gonna break off these anyway so just pull a bunch off as much as you want then after you have that situated, and like I already cut my onions because I didn't want to cry in front of you. And so those, I chop them like this because you're not going to blend it for very long. So you don't want thick um, chunks, otherwise it's not going to blend up right. So for this, you're just going to scoop them out. And then with this one, I've noticed that the Rayleigh's brand or the store brands, they actually have more tomatoes in it. And then Hunt's has about six to eight. They don't put very many in here. So if you want to get like your money's worth, I'd get that. And then it'll go a long way. You'll get more salsa. Just like what's in here, I made that this morning because it won't fit two batches. And that's all from all these tomatoes. So it works out. And then you can dump this in here. This isn't hot, so it doesn't make a difference if you use it. It just adds more jalapeno flavor. I don't think they really use spicy jalapenos for this. And you're just going to dump the whole thing in there. <coughs> and then now that you did that, you can just throw your jalapenos in there. And then you can throw your onions in there as well. And then for this, the reason I grabbed um, the little spoon is some people don't have teaspoon measuring cups. So this is exactly that. So then you're going to take your oregano and you're going to do about one and a half. I just do a really big one and you're good to go. And after that, same thing with this. You're going to need one and a half of garlic powder. I have used fresh cloves. It, it's more garlic than anything. So I'd say don't do that if you don't want garlic salsa because that's what it's going to taste like. And then I put cilantro on top so that way it doesn't get completely blended up into nothing. Otherwise it's, it's like it's not even there and you don't want that. You actually want to get your flavor from all the vegetables that you put in there. And then this will last you three to four times. I've used this throughout the week and it's still going strong so you're good. And then for this, before you even start your blender, I'd recommend that you don't put this on top of there because as you're like putting it in, if it goes off, you don't want your tomatoes all over the floor. That's not going to be a good thing. <coughs> Sorry, I have to blend it on the floor. <coughs> so then for this, I blend it for 20 seconds because if you blend it for longer, you're going to get liquid salsa like you get at a restaurant and then we all know that that's canned and they put chunks into it so it doesn't taste right. And so this, if you blend it for 20 seconds, sometimes less, just wait to make sure that everything's mixed up, you're actually still going to get the flavors and it's not going to taste like everything fell out of it. Okay. 
and from there you should be good. Some cilantro did not mix, so um, my aunt always says that once you blend it, stir it, and then to taste it, but I've made it like 20 times in a month to make sure I got it right. So I'm, it's gonna taste the same. So then put it back on there to make sure like all your onion chunks and everything has been blended up because I know not everybody wants to bite into that. I don't. And it should be good. So with this, um, it's not gonna be completely liquid. Mine, like whenever you, it still has like a thick paste to it. And so that way you're not gonna lose all the jalapeno flavor and you're not just gonna get the tomatoes cause that's basically what it tastes like whenever you go. And it just has the chunks into it. So that is your salsa. And then it will get darker. Oops, sorry. It will get darker over um, a few days. This one's still light and you could leave it in your fridge um, up to five days. And I think I stated that on the papers that I gave you under tips. And then net um, third, I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna show you healthy salsa art alternatives for people who have different lifestyles. So one thing that I found was health benefits of fresh tomato salsa is you get vitamin C and vitamin A. Tomatoes, onions, and jalapenos contain vitamin C, and so that adds up to one cup of diced tomatoes, two tablespoons of chopped onions, and one jalapeno pepper contains approximately 43 grams of vitamin C. And with that, you probably doubled most of that in there, so you're doing pretty good today. I personally don't use fresh tomatoes because it gives it a complete different taste, so if you want to, you can. And then vitamin A, tomatoes and jalapenos contain vitamin A. One cup of chopped tomatoes and one pepper provide a total of 1,650 international units, or IU, of the nutrient. 71% of the recommended intake for women and 55% of men. So just getting that with salsa, I'd say you're doing pretty good for the day. Sorry. And then organic salsa ingredients. You can get these anywhere, Rayleigh's. I don't know if Walmart has it, but like Safeway and Safe Mart. Organic foods contain at least 50% more nutrients, vitamins and minerals than their non-organic counterparts. So if you just do this as a snack and you're doing organic, you're gonna get so much in even though it's so small. And then food that has been chemically altered in any way has far less nutritional value and therefore is not as healthy for your body. And then because organic foods are lower in fat, it helps fight and prevent obesity. Everybody's saying that you need to be on a healthy diet. So I mean, adding salsa into that, I don't think you're gonna be doing any harm. And then health experts warn that a diet high in fatty food lead to heart disease, stroke, and other life-threatening diseases. A diet filled with organic foods help to prevent these conditions and keep weight down. So even though not everybody's gonna have organic fruits and vegetables, if you do it to your salsa, which I'm not saying you have to, cause I don't, um, you're gonna be helping yourself out even though it's so small of a snack. So I'd say if you want to do it, try it. And then um, today, first I taught you the ingredients and the um, supplies that you're gonna need to make this recipe. Second, I showed you how to blend it all up to make sure you don't lose the flavor in your salsa. And third, I showed you healthy alternatives to making it. So I hope you go home and enjoy it. Thank you.